this question came up and that they would ask. And that was, Lorna, is God real? That, that kind of shocked me, you know, because I just looked at them and said, but don't you know God is real? Why are you asking me that question? I'm afraid God is real. And I, I tell everyone, don't wait till the last moment when your life is coming to an end, your human life, to discover that. It would be great if you all could discover that beforehand. Imagine how we would all change. Right. <laughs> yeah, so for you, in thinking about God, what what is that presence like to you? What, what is the way that, that you perceive that energy? Like wh when you say God, what do you mean by that? Um, when I say God, it depends on, you know, sometimes I would just hear God's voice and God's voice is, how can I describe it? It always sounds very deep, but yet gentle. Um, sometimes when God appears physically, God always gives a male appearance. And I suppose that's because I was brought up Catholic, you know, in that, in that way. And I, how would I say it's, it's overwhelming. I, I know if you read, um, I think it's in Stairways to Heaven. I'm not quite sure which book it's in and um, God's library, you know, I still do the same thing today. I run and hide. And in God's library, I ran and hid behind a big book. You know, I still kind of do the, the same thing because God's presence is is so powerful that in what way you're kind of afraid, but you're excited and you want to run towards it, like you want to give yourself a moment. If you understand, give yourself a moment. It's, it's so overwhelming. It's so, it's so overwhelming. immense. Yeah, and, and that love is, is just incredible, you know, and there's no way to describe it. Like yeah. you do all the human words right. that you find and you'd still not describe it. Yeah, so you mentioned uh, you being brought up Catholic. What kind of influence do you think that has in the way that God appears to people? Like when, when you have your experiences and other people describe God showing up in different forms, do you think that that's... that's this this energy, this presence kind of coming in in a context-dependent way so that you're better able to understand it? Yeah, I, I definitely think that's the way God does it. Like, you know, many people would call angels by another name. You know, maybe they say it's a higher being, maybe they say yeah. it's a guide or, or different names. Um, I call them angels. You know, and there's, I know my voice is going now a little bit because I talk so much. <laughs> yeah. So, so yes, if I, I, I believe, I believe so. Why, why would God want to frighten us? So what we believe in or, or what religion we are from, you know, like I always remember when routing angels in my hair and just saying to God, you know, because I was so afraid of being ridiculed you know, by Catholics themselves, you know, for not using the word Jesus. Mm. I never called God Jesus, you know, and just saying that to God that day and he's standing in my presence and, you know, asking what will I call you? You know, if I, will I call you Jesus? Will I call you Allah? There was a whole load of names I, I named out. And God just looked at me and just said, Lorna, what do you call me? And I remember putting my hands on my hips, kind of getting really annoyed and saying, God, of course, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in a different way. And, and then the answer that brought me back was, you know, the word God is universal. Everyone knows who you're talking about. And I, I love that because... It doesn't matter what religion you are. If you use the word God, everyone knows who you're talking about. And and God has hundreds or thousands of names. It's I I found it shocking to believe to hear all the different names. I haven't even heard them all yet, but yeah. there's thousands. Yeah. But it's God. That's who everyone is talking about. Yeah, it's, it seems like everyone's just trying to point 
towards the same thing and describing it in different ways. And it, it's kind of, it, it's a shame when you see so much bickering and arguing over the descriptions because it seems like it's just not the point. And yeah. it's, um, that, that part is very sad when someone's, you know, like I even get that, you know, someone giving out because I don't say Jesus all of the time, you know, yeah. and to hear you say Jesus, it's not God. But Jesus is God. I, I, I always thought people knew that. I never realized people didn't didn't know that. Like Allah is God. It's just another name. Yeah. You know. Um and then to see you know the other part that is sad, people fighting over God in the sense and and killing each other over God. Right. When God is all about love. Yeah. You know, it's like everyone wants to live in the in the old past in that sense, where God has always only shown me love and kindness. You know, and, and does so towards us all. But we do have choices. You don't have to, you know, destroy something or kill something. You know, you you, you have the choice. Mm. And you even have the choice when it has been done to you and you want to get revenge, but you still have the choice to break that cycle and say no and say, I'll show compassion and love instead yeah. and reach out to those that have hurt me. I will save them. 